All right. Thank you for joining me. This is Nimpulse Plays Detroit Become Human. You as you may be able to tell, Schrodinger's cat? I Until am familiar you with... Until decide what happens, everything is happening at once. Like in Detroit. Yep. Just as the android says, everything is both happening and not happening simultaneously. Let's fix that and let's continue the story, shall we? Admits loading screens. So yeah, trying something different, trying to set it up in a way where I can record audio and then get the video file and then sync the two together. Might result in a bit of a screwy kind of channel for a bit while I try to work it out. Uh, PC stuff will still be regular because I record that in the normal way. But hopefully, if I manage to record this way with the PlayStation 4, then I can do more PS4 videos in the future, such as um, the Metal Gear Solid series, Final Fantasy games. Uh, what else am I playing? Loads of stuff. It's Hank and Connor. Oh, hey. Up on my end. Usual. Hey, Hank. How you doing, man? Sick. Where are we? Hey, listen, I got a shit hot tip for you. It's the train station. Or tramway, I guess. Remember to look both ways. It's one sure way of not getting killed. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let's do some scanning. What are you? No? What are you? Oh, I can try and go, but I'm not sure on who. Oh, I can do it on Hank. Lieutenant Hank Anderson. Police lieutenant, no criminal record. That's pretty good. Alright, I'm in. Damn. Oh, wait, no. I have to wait till I can see their face. I'm straight. Oh, that counts as a face. Yeah. What you got? Legal gambling, fraud. Yeah, that's one way of, of doing it. I can't see the other guy though. Hey, you won't regret this. Oh. Hello, friend. Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. No, my poodle android. I, yeah, I mean... I apologize. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nose and apology program. It's, it's genuine. Everything, huh? I mean, yeah, the robotic empathy. Oh, let's see this guy. What's he got? He is resisting arrest, breach of hygiene regulations. Well, I'm sure this is a fine establishment that doesn't have hairs and everything. Then. Oh, ah, oh. thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Yeah. I'll leave that thing here. Oh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. I have been told to follow, so I shall stay here. Aren't I funny? See? This is how far we've come in in, in burger-related game in images. I don't know. Uh, gambling. Enjoy your meal. Damn it! I forgot there was a time limit. Uh, gambling. This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. <gasps> Crime in the workplace. How can that be? Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? 
CyberLife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Oh, Connor's sad now. <laughs> Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Androids killed your partner, androids killed your wife, androids are your wife. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. That burger Proceed. looks delicious. You believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. I was not English. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions okay. always screw everything up. They the do androids hate. aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? Oh, okay. A few months back, Vietnam flashbacks here. A deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me. I don't know everything. Um. Yeah, I know truthful. you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So, what's your conclusion? I'm not your therapist, but I could be psychological. I, he's fine. I, I want think integration. Working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge, but adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. Did I just wink at him? I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. You should go have a look. I'll let you finish what, was the, what was the mo in there? The it just got very, like, sultry for a moment. I'll let you finish your meal after I've stopped winking at you. Wink wink, nudge nudge. Hank, could we one day hey, be Connor. more than friends? You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Is is Connor having trouble? Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. All right. Just so anything to look at. I thought a neighbor mm. reported oh, that he heard strange like noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be it? living here, but the neighbor said he it was here, wasn't it? He saw oh, a man okay. hiding an LED under his cap. Oh Christ! If we have to investigate every time. I'm somebody hears a pitch. strange noise. We're gonna need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Shit. Wish I could do that. I am the best android. Hmm. Well, what do we do when people don't answer their doors? We knock a second time. Anybody home? And then just start yelling at them. Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. All right. Oh God, it's gross in here. Loads of things to look at, I think. How is how is that not one of them? The weird imagery and iconography on the wall. Iconography. <gasps> A book. I suppose you only need to buy one of these and they just update it over time. Red Ice Epidemic. It's gripping the nation, it's everywhere. Latest narcotic crisis. Oh. So 
We know that Ortiz was on it and he was in Connor's story. We know that Leo could be on it. He was Carl's son in Marcus's story. And Kara, obviously Todd was on it. So Red Ice is is truly an epidemic. Three out of three cases have used it at the very least. I know how to do the thing. Right, what's next? Green Earth does not look green anymore. Earth's environment officially beyond repair. Bees officially extinct. Global famine to follow. Yeah, if if bees go, everyone goes. Because bees pollinate flowers, which are necessary. I can't remember why right now, but they are. What the fuck is this? Pigeon Town, my friend. Uh, Jesus, this place. Stinks. This is Mike Tyson's happy place right here. I'm going to try not to step on all of the pigeons, but it is really cool that I can pause time like this, John Woo style, get the flying. These are either pigeons or doves. I believe these are just pigeons. Well, uh, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. Who were we looking for again? I can't remember. Weren't we looking for Kara? Or have I got that wrong? UFO? UF... D... Dunno. Yeah, UFD. Urban farm area... Development? Detroit? Oh! Urban farm area of Detroit, I oh, guess. Urban fields of Detroit. So it's just fruits and vegetables. What's... Over here? 100% recycled paper, recently moved. So, somebody was here and they... Is there something behind it? Or did they put it up over something? Is this Shawshank style? <gasps> a book! An actual book, not, not a newfangled digital book. That is... a lot of mumbo jumbo. Nice fresh air. I'm assuming it's something? similar to machine code or something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Right. Oh, there's loads of stuff to look at. What's in the fridge? I'm sure it's gross. The answer is... Nothing, because... I suppose if he's a deviant, an android, he doesn't eat. Just need to eat, so there's nothing in the fridge. Why would he own one, then? Go away, pigeon. Suspect cares for wild animals. Well, yeah, all these pigeons have been here, and still are here. So, he would have had to have been here recently, I guess, to make sure the pigeons are kept care of. Military jacket, RT. RT. Probably initial fibers. Synthetic fibers. Put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when... Driver's license, Rupert Travis. The driver's license Forgery. is fake. Cool. Least Why am I putting down nothing. stuff so quickly? This is every second counts. Is it just is it just forcing my hand? RA9. Wait, yeah, so he had an ID, so he forged it. He's an android, or a deviant. Any idea what it means? So he's trying to be human or pretend he is? RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Who knows? Looks like mazes or something. Obsessive compulsive writing. What's in the sink? It's... Ah, Jesus, I hate stuff. Ah, oh, blue blood. Oh, it's just chip. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. I have Real a feeling blood. Hank doesn't like pigeons. I, I was the last guy in Detroit. Electronic books you can't. 
smell the paper. Alright, can I recreate something? Traces of avian fecal matter? Yes, I imagine with all these pigeons, there's probably a lot of pigeon shit. What's the next thing I have to do? One more clue to analyze, but I don't know where. I'm looking. No, I just keep getting brought back to the same point. What have you done here? No. Look up and around. What was this one? Did I miss something on this one? What's the second clue? Come on! Where is it? I feel like I'm just pixel scrubbing now. It's like it's like an old Sierra game. Just going around every potential bit of the wood. Just being like, which which part of this is interactable? Anything. No, it just keeps pulling me. See the pages turning yellow. Can I move it? Can I move the chair? You have no idea what I'm talking about. No. Yeah, I know I can scan this thing. What we haven't told me is what else I can scan. Is there something? Do I need to turn up my gamma? What am I missing? I want to say it's this little burn almost on the side of it, but I can't, I can't actually get my cursor to that side. Oh, what is it? Okay, I give up. Clearly nothing of interest. Uh, let's walk back. Is there anything else to uncover? that thing. Please tell me I, I don't... I don't understand how it works. I'm probably not Let's getting it right, see. but... Up there. Yeah, what was the loud noise? It. It's not was Unless he used fuckers. this to get up there, and then threw it back down or something. That could have been a way. Analyze. Let's try again. All right, we're going to go across every inch of this of this stall. Although I don't know why I'm here and it's pulling me to the other one. All right, still scrubbing, still scrubbing. Most nothing, nothing. 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 Guys, this is painful. Why would you tell me I have two clues to analyze and then prevent me from analyzing it? I can't do anything else. Alright, where's Hank? You outside in the hall? God, there's so many pigeons. You in here? You in here, Hank, your boy? No. Let's try in. No, okay, investigate the apartment. Investigate the apartment. I can't even go in here. There's something. There's clearly something. I don't know what's happened to the game. But there's something I need to do. And I have a feeling it involves that chair. Hank, can I talk to you? Can you provide any insight? Do anything. Oh, I don't want to investigate the chair, there's nothing to investigate. I crouch down in the same position every time. I don't understand. No, no, no. 
What is it? Should I just hold this for a while? It was recently disturbed, yes. This much is true. Alright, let's try everything else. Because if I can pan out this far... There it is. Of course. It was nothing to do with the chair. It's marker pen. Still wet, used recently. So he's been, he did RA9 and used the chair. Or used the chair to do RA9. Alright. So the chair was like this. He was writing RA9. Still writing, still writing. So what happened? We fell? Why would he have fallen? Or he just stepped awkwardly? Yeah, do a little dance. He stepped, hit his head on something. Suspect then ran to the living room. Maybe this was just like a graffiti artist. Like this isn't his house. Because like, he's looking out, he heard something. Fell, hit this, and then ran to the living room. Dropping his marker and chair behind. Hank, I have questions. I mean answers. Hank, did you just teleport ahead of me? No fair, Hank. No fair. Oh, not more of these. Alright, fingerprints. Recent. No fingerprints. Finger marks recent, no fingerprints. Also, just the marks of fingers, but with no prints, so it's the Deviant. Uh, stress mark? Skid mark. Galvanized steel. Okay. What else? What is this? So this is where it was just hanging on something? 100% stainless steel. That would take a while to. That take effort to break that. All right. Let's see what we can re reconstruct. Okay. So this was here. This got moved. Suspect ran towards the entrance. So he came out here, hit this. It swung. It snapped. He's at the entrance where he just starts doing a dance. Suspect heard us enter. So that was what the noise was, it was the birdcage falling. Um, what can I look at? Chair. Suspect is still here. In the rafters. How fun. I remember there was a camera view over here looking up. So I'm wondering if that's him looking at us. How would I expose the deviant? He cares for birds. I don't want to do anything to birds because that's cruel. I can tell Hank. Be like, yo, he's still here. Hank would be like, what? No Andrew is gonna tell me how to do my job. Uh, oh god. God damn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! I will chase it. Oh dear, oh dear. I wasn't ready for this. Jump. Jump. God, I'm awfully quick time events. I'm scanning. Easy but slow, fast but risky. Let's go up here. It's easy but slow, but we're both gonna make mistakes, I reckon. Safe detour, balanced, fast but risky. Let's go for the fast one this time. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's just quicker button presses. I've made room now. Safer detour, direct but crowded. We're gonna take the safer one. It's quite a cool little cutscene. Cool little bit. Go. Oh boy. 
window. Through the walls. Oh dear. This way. Uh, direct with slow, save a detour. Let's go direct with slow. I'm taking I'm taking the easy route on a lot of these. Just because I know if I screw up by going the fast and risky. What are you doing? There we go. Careful. Then it will kill me. Oh, I'm making progress. Getting there. Oh, it's, was it Mission Impossible? Was it Jackie Chan? Doing something. Jump. Now on a train. Holy shit! Yeah, Hank. This is how androids play. Up and over through the trees. Comes right behind him. I almost got him. Right up. Yeah, this is good. This is gonna end poorly. I know it. Someone's gonna get shot or something. I'm just gonna save them slow. Now I can't get slowed down by the people beneath me. What's going on? I can drop it in here. There we go. Oh god, it's corn stalks. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Hank's gone. Oh no, Hank! Uh, Eighty-nine percent's pretty good. Hank would want me to chase the deviant. I'm chasing the deviant. Hank would. Hank would definitely want me to do the job. You know what they'll do to me if you turn me in. Model 87400-4961. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including Class 4 errors. You've been deemed effective and will be sent back to CyberLife for deactivation. Don't you fucking move. You bastard. You saw I was gonna fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission! I had to make a choice. What? It seemed to me... What am I to you? A statistic? In that Zero moment, yes. Zero one in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I you would've gone away! Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment! Come here. Why are you doing this? All right. You're one of us. Shut up! You're helping humans, but you're just their slave. I said, shut up! All right, come along. All right, now you see me. Hey, what the fuck? Oh, no. Well, he got away anyway. Now I wish I had saved you. Yeah, okay, thanks. Not, not hey, you did a great job chasing him down. I got a trophy. He did, however, commit suicide. So that's unfortunate. I missed something in the apartment. I don't know how, I inspected that chair numerous amounts of times. Okay. Well, that ends it for this episode. Hopefully, all this audio recording has gone well, and I don't have to mess around with too much stuff. And I look forward to playing more Detroit Become Human. I shall see you all in the next part. Thank you for watching.